Hello there. I just have one quick question for you. Are you up to your sacral chakra in manifestation at this point? <laughs> have you gotten to this point where you're like, I'm ready to create, but I can't seem to create. I can't seem to manifest or give birth to all those dreams and imaginations and ideas and purpose in my life. So then I think we are up to your sacral chakra in readiness to create. My name is Dr. Lisa Brewer, and I am a doctor of divinity and of metaphysics. So I cannot write you a prescription, but I can recommend a good herb. So uh, we're going to talk about the sacral chakra today. Um, we're on the ninth day of our Manifest Your Best Life in 88 Day series. And so if you haven't already looked at the other days, take a moment and look at those other days um, and kind of catch up. Um, but we're going to start off on day nine with the sacral chakra. And I think that it is um, providence that this actually happening, right? What a synchronicity, because the number nine is the nine of self-actualization. And so we're going to talk about this very important chakra that's going to help you birth into this world or actualize or create the world that you truly wish to have. In other words, we're going to help you manifest your best life. Now, the sacral chakra is chakra number two, and that is located in the area of your reproductive organs, whether you're male or female. The first one is the root chakra. So again, I want you to go back to day eight and like really work on that foundation because now we're in kind of like this good ground, this creative space that's going to help bring all of these dreams and aspirations that are up here into the earth, right? So the sacral chakra is the center of emotions, of feelings. Um, and this is at that kind of pleasure center. Okay. So, but it, physically that's the pleasure center, but also then energetically, it also brings you pleasure too, right? Because when you accomplish something that you have been set out to do for such a long time, when your vision, your dream actually comes to fruition, don't you feel amazing? Like, doesn't that create a huge sense of pleasure? Um, and, I, and I want you to experience that all the time, right? I want you to experience that pleasure, that joy, that happiness of birthing something into the earth that is all yours, right? That is your purpose. That is your desire. That is, that is the world that you yourself have created your best life that is of your highest good. Now, just because this is like the center of your emotions, it's believed to be the emotional center or the energy we set in motion. I believe that that is actually kind of like the very earthly, very primal kind of space that we bring these emotions in because truly the heart is that real center of where all emotion or again, energy that we set in motion, that that's where it really originates. And that's the most powerful place, but I don't want us to ignore the sacral chakra. Now what's important with sacral chakra healing and making sure that it is in balance is when it's not in balance, we feel lost. We feel incapable of creation. Like the energy can't flow from earth on up and from on, uh, on uh, from uh, up above on down. It can't flow because our center for reproduction or where all the magic happens is blocked or it is out of alignment. Our emotions can go all over the place. We can feel like have a low self-esteem, a low self-image where we just we think we're going to be a failure all the time. And that is a really, that, that, that chakra there can be blocked by fear. Um, especially the fear of, um, death of something in our world dying, not even necessarily yourself, but that you're, that just once, have you ever said this? Like just when I think everything is going great, just when everything seems to be moving in the right direction, all of a sudden the other shoe begins to drop or it just, it, it just feels like it begins to escape you, right? Like you get to one, you get to a place and you're like, great, like success is mine. Everything is going fabulously. And then all of a sudden something happens and it escapes you. I'm going to propose to you that that is actually a form of self-sabotage. Like I didn't even realize I was doing that until I was like 49, almost 50 years old, that I finally realized that I was literally self-sabotaging, that 
uh, on day nine, which is today of this 88 manifest your best life in 88 day series. And which I hope you're really taking a part of. And by the way, don't forget to comment below. Like if you've ever done anything, like you you're realizing, Oh my gosh, I've been self-sabotaging. Can you shoot me a comment um, below? And then also, can you give me a like or a follow wherever you're watching this, whatever platform, can you do that for me as well? So that not only are that lets me know that I'm making great content and I should continue, but then the algorithm also will let other people be able to see this and view this and let's send this 88 day series viral like let's make it go viral everywhere okay so it's just going to help all of us going to help all of humanity but getting back to the sacral chakra like when that chakra is potentially blocked by fear when that chakra you're not operating in love when you're afraid and you're pra practicing self-sabotage you are literally killing off every good thing in your life and usually self-sabotage happens because somewhere along the line in our childhood in our young adulthood our teenage years what have you we've been told over and over and over again that you can't attain, you can't get those dreams that you want. Or we've been disappointed over and over and over again. People have abandoned us. People have not followed through. They've not been supportive. Like all of these things, we've been disappointed over and over again. And so we create this wall that's around us. And then to protect us, then we stop expecting good things to happen. We stop expecting that we can bear birth, bring into the earth, right? our, how, what we truly want, our wants, needs, and desires. We begin to put our wants, needs, desires behind everybody else. And I'm not saying that we should put them first in a narcissistic way, but you can't keep putting yourself last and expect at some point to finish first. It doesn't work that way, right? So these are all ways that we begin to self-sabotage. And I finally realized that I was, like I said, about 49, 50 years old. And I finally realized, Oh my gosh, like I keep self-sabotaging. And while other things may have happened to me, understand, I'm not saying that you are literally going in yourself and screwing things up or literally just like making things in a bad way in order, right, to do this knowingly. What I'm saying is that's your expectation. So you're attracting, you are manifesting exactly what your expectation is because you don't believe it deep down inside that you deserve and that you can attain every goal and have every manifestation that we visualize way back on day one and then the new ones that come up. So because that's the expectation, you literally, you, you reap what you sow you're sowing that you're not going to get it. And so that's exactly what you reap. Okay. So when we're working with the sacral chakra, you know, there are, there are plenty out here all over like on YouTube or Instagram or on Apple music or Spotify. There's so many ways to do a TikTok sacral healing, right? There's some of us that are Reiki healers and shamans and energy healers in general that sometimes we put out videos that are for sacral healing, sacral chakra healing. So I, what I want you to do first is really like tune in to that sacral chakra healing. And then I want you to really think about and 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 reflect on who throughout your life has begun to has told you that you don't deserve the best. You know, who has removed pleasure from you? Who has said you don't you that your needs, wants, and desires are not important? How have you self-sabotaged throughout your time? your life. And as we begin to see those things and we begin to heal that, that's when we begin to see like major changes and big leaps in the manifestation process. If these lower three chakras aren't in line, your root, your sacral, and your solar plexus, you're not going to get anything because there's nowhere for that to land. There's nowhere for this to land down here on earth. Okay, so do the sacral chakra healing. Okay, and also just be careful who you give yourself to be you, male, female, non binary, doesn't matter. Be careful who you share your most intimate self with, be it physically, mentally, or emotionally. All right, guys, I'm going to get on out of here. Okay, we're going to see you tomorrow on day 10. And on day 10, we're going to do what? Solar plexus chakra. Okay, don't forget though, give permission to your purpose to provide for your person. I'm Dr. Lisa. I'll see you soon. Bye.